Okay, hello. This is Rani Ahmed with you. This is lesson uh, two in uh, uh, programming of uh, using Python over uh, over uh, Nokia phones and uh, which has uh, Symbian uh, platforms. Okay, so in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, user interface and how to write for the user interface. Sorry. So and this uh, this is our uh, code. Okay. Um, the program uh, will do the following. Okay, I have uploaded the program to the folder named Python on your uh, mobile on the same folder, is like uh, the same uh, drive, mainly the phone memory. Okay, uh, where uh, the Python runtime and the uh, shell interpreter are located. So I just go to options and run script so I have this folder named Python it has C it's on drive C and lesson uh, one dot pi okay just put one at the first so I can access quickly okay just directly run because I'm gonna later uh, like uh, copy paste it all the time to the, uh, through Bluetooth okay so this is when I just run it so it says to you application is running now and if I click the options menu there's nothing because it's not programmed okay and when I press exit button it will uh, show me bye bye and this is my name in Arabic Rani okay so and it will write to you at the end the uh, application exit message on shell this is on the shell interpreter here okay this is the sh where I'm bugging the phone. Okay. This is the uh, uh, the shell. Okay. <sighs> so going back to the code. Now, first the application starts from this line. Starts running from this line. Okay. Like after, like usually in, uh, like usually in uh, Python, you start with the imports, then you start with the uh, functions, okay, and then there's the other lines which are just the normal application, okay. Now, this object which we call first the app UI FW, okay, dot app has the exit key handler. Now I have. The, uh, here the uh, app UI uh, FW which is a module that or a class that has uh, uh, everything related to a uh, graphical interface on the uh, Symbian phone okay um, this is also I have to uh, remind you that it's better to, f uh, to save the file as a Unicode file and type this line just to tell the program that it can uh, allow you to uh, print uh, uh, print uh, messages or strings that has uh, languages other than English or Latin or uh, Russian or uh, Greek okay so Unicode allows you to write something like Chinese and Arabic and, uh, um, and Hebrew okay uh, you have to proceed all the time the string with a letter U Okay, so to allow a Unicode because it has to take a Unicode uh, string, okay, like a sentence full of Unicode, and see how I did mix it between Arabic and English. Okay, so uh, when I click the exit key here, this is the exit key, this one to the uh, right of the screen, okay. Uh, to use it you have to attach a function to this object okay which is uh, coming from the app UI there's a type named application dot app and then the, there's the exit underscore he key handler okay which you attach to it this function any function name that you called from above so when I define my exit key button and attach it using the assigning here 
this this means when I click the exit key it will call and run this code okay that belongs to the function my exit key button so um, Rani okay and bye bye will be displayed in a message box using this dot note okay this is when I exit okay okay so so now we only have to uh, after uh, running this node okay we have to call this app lock signal which will uh, like signal uh, a kill signal to the process which is the application here okay and app lock is something that I defined from outside as a global variable from here global object and it will call the uh, e32 uh, application open lock okay so this means that uh, the application uh, has been put under lock and it should not quit okay unless I select uh, and say that it, ha uh, it has to be signaled to uh, to kill to be killed okay and e32 is the uh, module responsible for process management okay uh, next thing uh, of course here just until here you just defined that this is the callback function okay it's just waiting until you press the exit key next next thing I'm going to s uh, going to set the, uh, the application title which is the one that's here see I'm um, here it's writing Python okay now when I run the application again it will change it as my first app see so this is where my first app is uh, written okay is where the uh, code says application title is uh, my first code app so as I told you all the strings must start with a U for Unicode okay now uh, we will get to that okay now next thing uh, also uh, and this is still waiting okay until I press it so <sighs> when it starts it will first thing the type this which is application now is running using the uh, message box node okay and the wait will make the application uh, lock wait uh, for the signal okay and when the application exits okay and gets the signal this will be the last thing printed out on this terminal okay which uh, which is as I told you again okay here I quit the application now when I quit it it will print this application exit message on shell so this is the shell again okay this is shell cool so now what's left is the landscape now it's either portrait or landscape you can just have the same same sentence for the orientation and you can say either landscape or portrait so you can type either either uh, sent uh, uh, things you know so it is you as portrait okay so either this string is set or this string is set okay now I'm gonna just put a comment over here and just say like delete this and I'm gonna say here and let's put this here just for safety going to set a note here and maybe I just turn it back to after the note to 
running Gladscape. Yeah, let's say Landscape. Yes, and I'm gonna say that I have this V and just portrait. Cool. So I'm going to upload the file after I saved it. Let me make sure that I did. And then I copy them mm, to the overwrite it there. Okay, I replace it and then this is my application. Just run it. So this is our script. Let's run by uh, invalid orientation string expected. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, I fixed it. Okay, don't worry about it that much. Uh, it's just the orientation has to be without the U. Okay, it doesn't take a Unicode string, just a string. Okay, so I put either landscape or a portrait. And what I do is, what I'm gonna do is first that when the, I get the note, the note will first make some pose for for us. So it will tell you that now it's a landscape, and then. There's a next another port uh, or pose that will uh, tell you that the program will turn back to portrait. So when I run it again, okay, I'm gonna say now options. I'm say first let me close the application. So first I say run script and then last one dot by one. Now. As you see, it's now running in landscape. Now it's going back to portrait. Okay, and goes back to portrait. Perfect. Okay, so that's about the orientation. That's about the how to write a note. Okay, of course, I'm following the guide uh, of the uh, or the manual of the Pi S60s to uh, to know what are the values required to set everything. Okay. So according to the manual here it says that you have an automatic, this is the default value, or a portrait or a landscape. Automatic means that, for example, if you got a telephone that's a landscape telephone screen, okay, it will take the landscape by default. Okay, now, so that's the uh, code for now. Okay, uh, I don't think that there is much. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we will... Uh, move on later with uh, the next uh, lessons with other uh, widgets okay other uh, user interface uh, widgets and uh, that's it uh, thanks for uh, watching and please subscribe and your comments please it's very 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 important to me okay goodbye